For America! Sure, whatever you say, Karen. I like to believe that's what Karen said before downing her white girl wine. For America! Sure, I guess. Before shortly after being whisked away. Thank you, sir. Thank you for taking her away. Now that really is for America. You'd be out here doing the people's work and I, I appreciate it. Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome back to the Ablaze channel. Now you and Papa Ablaze here, we're going to be watching some of the worst Karens that got what they deserved. Or did they? You let me know in the comments down below and let's just watch some. Starting with this first one where Karen phoned up this restaurant and apparently wasn't very nice on the phone. So she decides the most logical answer to follow up with that is to go in person and have a go at the manager. When you can't get the manager on the phone, you go and get the manager in person. That's right, Karen. Follow your dreams. Are you the one that hung up on me? <laughs> yes, I am. You're a rude mother. You yelling at me. Hey, hey, mom. I'm a rude mother. Watch your boat. Yeesh. What happened to the customers always right? Hey, holy sh**. Better late than never, I suppose, for Karen to learn some manners. Just didn't really expect it to be from a, a pizzeria place. And I didn't also think that Karen expected to drive 30 minutes to receive that lesson, but she did. I like how afterwards she just has nothing to say, right? Like, it's like that meme when you're in the shower, you're getting yourself hyped up. You're getting ready. You got what you're going to say in the argument perfectly in your head. And then and then, and then you try to say it in person, bro, and you fumble it like this. <laughs> it's just so embarrassing, bro. This is someone's mom. Now, in this next clip, we have some guy that spilt sauce on a woman at a football game. i got to be honest, uh, probably not the best scenario and deservedly so. She's a little angry, but I may suspect that she takes it just a, a little bit too far, bro. Holy sh**. Shit, bro. Fucking hell, bro. I like how she says as well. I, I got it on my boyfriend's shirt. Bro, you're definitely the boyfriend in this relationship. She wears the fucking trousers, bro. I'm just saying. What she should have said was, you got it in my girlfriend's shirt. Is what she should have said. Because I'd be a pretty manly girl. I'm not going to lie, bro. I feel like she was going to pick him up by the scruff of his neck at any second and like beat the absolute living crap out of him. And in this next clip, we have a Karen that just feels like she just didn't get tipped enough. Even though that tip was $8 and I feel like that's a perfectly reasonable amount of money to tip an Uber driver, but a uh, Karen had other ideas. I assume this is probably just her first week at working at Uber and the reality is just kicking in at this point that it really doesn't pay that well. <laughs> I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from. I don't think you realize the distance that it's come from because then you would never actually have given what you gave. So I think you can <laughs> come and face to face. Because I drove 40 minutes. I drove 40 minutes and it was extremely far and I got it to you early. So I don't think you realize where you work from. I don't understand. Um, well, I think from where? From the restaurant that you ordered from. Do you realize how far it is? Do you realize you ordered from Colmac and you're in Smithtown? That's a that's a 15, 20 minute drive. It's not. You need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's it's 40 minutes and a half miles. So I don't think you realize how far it is. So but I think you have to pick up if you think it's that far. I, they don't let us know how far, so I think you need to adjust your tip. The entitlement, holy crap. To make it right. How much is the tip? You gave an $8 tip. <laughs> what the f are you looking for? I gave an $8 tip. Okay, I'm gonna bring the food back. I'm gonna bring the food back. Okay. 
Guys, what's better than an $8 tip? I'll tell you. A $0 tip. How about that? Is that is that better? Also, he makes a great point. Why would you pick it up in the first place if you didn't want to do the distance? That doesn't make any sense. 12 miles in 40 minutes. Like, re really, bro? Is she driving like 20 miles an hour the whole way there or something? I don't know, bro. The absolute audacity of trying to even ask for more money as a tip, bro. And then refuses and then just takes the food back. Well, Karen, <laughs> that's going to be another 40 minutes. 12 miles in 40 minutes, bro. Shut up. Passenger. Aaron right here, bro. She want the police, she said, bro. I want the police. There they are right there. When you can't get the manager, <laughs> get the police. Hashtag Karen. <laughs> Damn right I am. I want the police. Go. Go. Bro, shut the door. Hey, hey Karen, you know it's it's also illegal to o keep the door open, right? You know that, right? I mean, what was the end result there? She just sits back down after like 10 minutes of doing that. Literally holding everyone else up in the bus. But yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry. What am I, what am I even thinking at this point? Karen is at the top of the food chain. She is the most important person on that bus. And she needs the police now. I feel like the people that record the videos as well at this point, like just wind the f***ing Karens up way more than that needs to be. Which just makes it so much more funnier, in my opinion. So why does every Karen sound like the same as well? They always do that really annoying voice. Not the voice I do as a joke. They literally do that, but for real. Ethnicity. What's your background from? I don't want to talk to you guys. You're all Come on, tell me. Come on. Come on, Karen. Let's see, Karen. Don't the ethnicity right, here. Okay, and tell them you're driving a V8, Karen. You too. Out of here. Leave us alone. Leave us alone. Don't touch me. Don't fucking touch me. Get out of here. Don't touch us. Get out of here. 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 Go your way. Take care, Karen. Get out. Go your way. Be happy. Don't tell me what to do. Okay, don't tell us what to do. Get the f out of my face. What are you doing here? Go away. You're being so disrespectful right now. You're embarrassing yourself. I'm not either. All right, get out of here. My car stinks inside because of your dad. Go away. I'm leaving. <laughs> he just hit that guy's car. He just hit that other car, see? Look at that. Look what you just did. You just hit that car and you're talking about us? Biggest dumbass right here, guys. Keep going. Let's make a parade for your dumbass. Come on. Everyone behind her. Let's go. Goodbye. Bye. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. What an absolute getaway, though, right? Like, she just fucking slams her door into the other car next to her. You, did you see the speed at which Karen took off at the end there? Holy f guys, if you'd have blinked, you probably would have missed it. Honestly, just your typical Florida lady, if I'm being perfectly honest at this point. I talked to security, I got a problem with my car. I don't give a <laughs> I told them to move the car from here. They can't park right there. You cannot I park right there. I have a problem with my car. No, ma'am. Even if you have a them up at this point, surely. I just talked to security while ago. So I told him I had a problem with my car. I just talked to the gentleman putting stuff in the car right here, and he said it was okay. He said it was fine. You got my reverse. You don't want to go on reverse, and I can prove it to you. She said her part don't go on reverse. I don't care, sir. I've already told you. What is your problem? I told you. Here he comes. Holy shit. You are held back by his girlfriend, guys. Holy shit. Just a cute little sweet couple. Honestly, just made for each other. Look at Hubby over here. Look at Hubby being all aggressive and then gets held back by his by his wife. Karen. I like that she slightly holds him back. He almost goes spinning. She clearly ate her Weetabix this morning. Holy f 
bro. She on that Kuro team right now. She'd be hella strong. She held him back with just one hand. But then she walked away and then he just ended up holding himself back. It's like the same people that are like, yeah, come on then. Come on then, bro. Come on then. Come on. And they, they just keep going like further and further away from you. And they're like, come on, bro. Face me like a man. Face me like a man, bro. Come on. Come on then. I just feel like that little twirl he did really took him out of breath. And then they just drove away. I don't really understand what the issue is. Her reverse doesn't work. Okay, bro, but you can't park there. <laughs> the secret friends ending. Holy f bro. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. A little bit of instant karma for you at the end there as well. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit the like button down below. It helps me out massively, and I really do appreciate it. Also, leave a comment down below. What did you guys think of these very entitled Karens? Did they get what they deserved? Uh, I think they did. Anyway, guys, hope you had a fantastic weekend. Hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.